let knowledge flow like a river without any hindrance don't make it like a stagnant pool combi pack for the design of eccentric isolated footing by excel part 1 hello everybody i am ps chatterjee with you today i am going to explain how we can make a single format in excel spreadsheet to design several different type of isolated eccentric square or rectangular footing in both x and z direction types of footings are as follows square rectangular footing flat eccentric city in x direction square rectangular footing flat eccentricity in z direction square rectangular footing flat eccentricity both in x and z direction minimum requirement for this is 456 2000 sp16 and excel software 2010 onward please like share and subscribe my channel basic principle when column cg and the footing cg are in the same place it is called concentric footing when column cg is away from the footing cg it is called eccentric footing load from columns are mainly three types a vertical load b horizontal load and c moment by the help of horizontal loads we have to check the stability against sliding and overturning of the footing reaction force associated with the column will produce moment around x axis and z axis say vertical reaction on the column fy the moment due to fy around x axis and z axis are mx1 and mz1 respectively eccentricity along x axis ex and eccentricity along z axis ez then mx1 is equal to fy into ez mz1 is equal to fy into ex some reaction force will develop due to the reaction moment associated with the column on the cg of the footing and direction of this reaction force depends on the nature of the moments clockwise negative and anti clockwise positive and the sign of the eccentricity that is plus or minus moment around x axis say mx and moment around z axis say mz eccentricity along x axis ex eccentricity along z axis ez then rx is equal to mx by ez and rz is equal to mz by ex total vertical reaction fy plus rx plus rz algebraic sum now say mi moment of inertia of footing along x axis is, is equal to i axis along z axis i z z say length of the footing along x axis l x and along z axis l z then i x x is equal to 112 l x into l z q and i z z is equal to 112 l z into l x q distance of extreme point from x axis along z direction is equal to y axis and distance of extreme point from z axis along x direction y z z z x x is equal to i x x by y x x and z z z is equal to i z z by y z z total area of the footing a is equal to l x into l z say maximum and minimum pressure are p max and p minimum now p max is equal to f y by a plus absolute m x 1 divided by z x x plus absolute m z 1 by Z Z Z and P minimum is equal to F Y by A minus absolute M X one divided by Z Z Z X X minus absolute M Z one divided by Z Z Z. Condition for the design of eccentric footing are as follows: P max must be less than equal to same bearing capacity of soil N S B C. P minimum must be greater than equal to zero. this is isometric view of a footing from top in this position ex and ez both positive in this position ex negative ez positive in this position ex negative and ez also negative in this position ex positive and ez negative when we are looking from this side it is called view from xx and this is view from z z rx 
is equal to reaction due to moment mz is equal to mz divided by ex. Here it is minus mz and minus ex. mz1 is equal to fy into ex. Similarly, this is for view from zz axis. This is moment to reaction and reaction to moment. For eccentric footing, chance of getting negative reaction is very high. In this situation, to counterbalance this negative reaction, we have to provide some more additional load, that is self weight of the footing and weight of the soil above footing. Gamma D, that is gamma unit weight of soil into D minus GF plus SW greater than P minimum, greater than equal to P minimum, okay. Footing with uniaxial eccentricity. Pressure distribution along x axis. And this is pressure distribution along z axis. Footing with biaxial eccentricity. This is plan and this is elevation. This is from z axis. Now, say pressure at this portion, that is D, D from column phase, is Px1, and this is also D from column phase, Px2. This is Pz1, this is Pz2. So rate of pressure increment, Pix. Pix is equal to P max minus P minimum divided by Lx. Similarly, in this portion, Pz, P max, minus P minimum divided by Lz. Px1 is equal to P, P max minus Pix, this Pix into Lx1 and Px2 is equal to P minimum plus Pix into Lx2. Similarly, Pix is equal to P, P minimum plus Pix into Lz1 and Pz2 is equal to P max minus Piz into Lz2. And this is all about my combi pack for the design of eccentric footing part 1. I hope you enjoyed it. In part 2, I am going to apply all these formulas that I have explained here in Excel spreadsheet. Part 2 will be released within 7 days. Please do not forget to subscribe my channel. And also evaluate the performance with your valuable likes, share, and comments. Thank you.